The perfect game room is literally whatever space you can make work for you in your current living situation. Maybe it's a game room slash storage space slash exercise area slash music room slash mani petty station slash permanent work from home office. Maybe it's a garage arcade. Maybe it's a PlayStation 2 connected by RF to an old CRT sitting on a milk crate at the foot of the air mattress in my tiny empty little studio apartment because my wife moved to a different state with all my furniture. If it works for you, it's perfect, and that's really it. But if you don't have anything better to do right now, I do want to share my top 5 game room suggestions. I can't even call them tips because that sounds really authoritative and my opinion is literally worthless. They're just kind of generic considerations that you probably already know. So let's talk. First and foremost, and maybe the most serious part of this list, stay within your means. I firmly believe that limitation breeds creativity, so when it comes to time, space, and money, just work with what you've got and don't get involved in pissing contests. Number two, define the space. Storage room, garden shed, cupboard under the stairs, it doesn't matter. You can still keep your Switch in the family room and your Game Boy by the toilet, but try to outline a home base. Number three, be resourceful. Find shelves at yard sales. Repurpose storage you already have. Melt down your worthless Wii accessories and reforge your very own homemade furniture. Also, you should consider looking into foam core. People make really incredible stuff with that. Number four, make it yours. Video rental store motif. Castle walls built of stacked up sports games. Inflatable 90s slime green Nickelodeon furniture that my wife makes me deflate and stuff in a closet before friends come over. You are the target audience, so make yourself at home. And last but not least, number five, channel some, just at least a little of your inner Marie Kondo. Balance what you can manage with what you like. Take care of what you have. Stare into the depths of your soul and ask yourself, do these things really spark joy? Or do they simply mask deep-rooted inner turmoil? And if you have to keep stuff in boxes, I strongly recommend clear containers. So there you go, a corny perfect game room cliche and my top 5 overly generic game room considerations. But like I said, my opinion is worthless, so probably just do your thing. If it fits your current living situation and there's enough room to rage launch controllers, it's probably perfect. Thank you for hanging out. If you need me, I'll just be here playing music, gaming, exercising, working from home, and or getting my nails done. Number 1. Ask yourself, do I really need a kitchen? Number two, have a secret room in your house that your friends and family and roommates don't know about. Number three, try your hardest to never have pets or children. And number four, get a work from home job and refer to your game room as the office. That's not a joke, I actually do that, it works very well for me.